place where I am. I'm in the forest, high, high up. And I just have this incredible view and I have a fly buzzing around my face, so I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm just spending time out here by myself and having these conversations with me about me and what I'm creating. So sometimes I get in my head a lot. I'm sure you can relate. And um, I'm going to sit down. So sometimes I get in my head a lot and I think a lot. And I really have to shut it off because it starts to just go crazy. I mean, I'm always thinking. So I came out here this weekend to spend some time just hanging out in nature. I've been to a couple of um, music festivals and they've been incredible. I feel like being around live instruments and the notes that are heard actually really do wonders for healing at a cellular level. And we don't really even have to be aware of that. I mean, if you know that or you don't know that, it, it, the healing still takes place. So I've spent some time doing that over the last couple of days. And I'm staying in this really kind of magical cabin that I totally manifested just with my thoughts. And that's what I wanted to talk about today and share with you. And that is manifesting with your thoughts and, and getting your vibration on track so that you're in alignment with the all powerful self that you are. There's so much going on in the world right now. And I know that a lot of people feel uh, powerless, they feel weak, they feel scared. If this is you, then this message is for you. And if you're strong and you're self aware and you know that you're the creator of your reality, then this message is for you too. How I set this all up was I was out hiking uh, midweek last week, two, three days in a row. I, I go every day, by the way, I go at dawn. And I do about three miles. And it really makes a difference to how my day flows. The long weekend was rolling up and I had not made any plans. And I was thinking, what do I really want to do? You know, I didn't want to just stay in the city. I'm going to be moving my home and my offices soon. So I thought, well, I could pack. It didn't really feel very exciting. So... I'm just like, okay, okay, spirit, you know, tell me where should I go for this long weekend? I didn't get an answer. I didn't get an answer for like two, three days. And then this answer just popped into my head on Friday. So it's like the day of the long weekend when most people are already on the road. And there I am, there's Deborah, you know, just finally getting some kind of an insight I have to tell you, it's kind of like, it's kind of like my life, you know, sometimes I feel like I've been late to the party, but then I'm never late to the party, you know, <laughs> to quote Gandalf, a wizard is never early, nor is she late for she arrives precisely when she means to. And that's the attitude that I take about pretty much everything I do in my world. But then my ego head space comes in and starts going, it's the Friday, everybody's already made their plans, you're not going to find a place to stay. And I'm like, all right, we're not going to have that conversation in my head today. In fact, we're going to have a different conversation. And that is the absolute perfect place will present itself and I will get a magnificent place to stay and it will be at a phenomenal rate and it'll be more than I could have ever imagined in terms of blessings. So I was exhausted in the afternoon. It had been a really packed week and I just did not have the energy to go online and stare at a computer screen and try to find a place to stay. So I just said, you know what, what I really need right now is to just lie on my sofa, watch a movie that I don't have to do any thinking about 
and let any intuitive messages just flow through. So that's exactly what I did Friday night. And I had come up with the answer already. I needed to be in the forest and I needed to be in the mountains. So when I got up Saturday morning, instead of going hiking early, I just jumped online and poof, I found the perfect place. I am so lucky because I believe I am. And luck is something that you create. It's not something that's handed to you. It's a belief system. Actually, you know, I think luck is actually a lifestyle. And I've adopted this lifestyle of everything is always working out for me. I'm totally lucky. And all I have to do is get clear in here about the experience I want to have. And it doesn't have to be a where or a with whom. It just has to be a feeling. Like what kind of feeling did I want to experience this weekend? I wanted to experience nature. I wanted to experience silence. I wanted to experience live music. I wanted to experience an ease about my day where there was really no agenda. And so it's exactly what I created. And, um, you know, by the time I packed and got out the door, I was an hour behind schedule. Now, typically we would beat ourselves up. At least I'm assuming you would beat yourself up because that's what I used to do. If I set something for myself and then I didn't make it, I would beat myself up for it. And I don't do that anymore. You know, I just got over, I just decided I was not going to beat the shit out of myself anymore about anything that wasn't perfect or anything that wasn't exactly the way it's supposed to be. What is that supposed to be? It's a preconceived notion that we set up in our minds that really doesn't have any basis because we can change that notion, you know, in a nanosecond. And so I was an hour late getting out the door and I said, you know what? It's totally okay. I'm going to get there at the perfect time, (laughs) quoting Gandalf. And so I hit the road, stopped at a grocery store, picked up what I needed, and drove up into the mountains to a cabin that actually, from the time I had the idea that this is what I wanted to do with my weekend, to the time that I was on the road, I went from being in a single room with a shared common space on a resort property to actually having an entire south wing that is a two bedroom cabin with a loft, full kitchen deck in the forest with my own like forest, my own creek bed. I mean, everything was just there. So that's what I drove into. Um, It's been so healing and it's been reaffirming. So this is the point I want to make is that all of my life, I've had these kinds of experiences where the very thing I ask for is the very thing I experience. (sighs) Cutting out the noise of the ego that would discount it, you know, that would discount it and say, oh, well, you know, you lucked out or that doesn't happen very often or whatever the discount is, whatever the negation of the magic is. And instead of doing that, saying, you know, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, inner being. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Thank you for overriding my own negative self-talk with the feeling, not the words, it's the feeling, the feeling of the experience that I wanted to have and making that the dominant energy that I am addressing my life with. It's not just this experience, it's every experience. It's the money I want to create, 
the relationships I want to create, the health I want to create, and the adventures, you know? I am this insatiable adventurer. I love, love, love to go on adventures and the excitement of making up the next adventure and then getting on the adventure and being willing to pivot, being willing to pivot on that adventure to allow in greater experiences. I'll give you an example of that. So yes, I was at this little music festival and as I was leaving, I ran into this guy that was also in the festival and we just like immediately clicked, you know, it was the vibration. It wasn't, okay, this is what you look like. Tell me what you drive, <laughs> what labels are on your clothes, what's your zip code. It was none of that, um, oh my gosh, a blue jay just flew by me and landed in the tree and he's watching and listening to me. I'll talk about that in a minute. So we immediately exchanged numbers and, um, you know, we clicked on a vibrational level. Start to look at the things that you want in your life, the people, the experiences, the wealth, the success, the joy, the health as being a vibrational experience. And then you can pull that in through putting your vibration into that space. And that comes from a daily practice, a daily routine of meditating, journaling. Um, I have a couple of tarot decks and sometimes I play with those. Um, being out in nature and the Blue Jays back. So, and then looking at the spiritual meaning behind the things that come your way and the experiences that show up and, and the relationships that you have. Instead of making anything wrong, ask yourself, what am I learning from this? How is this expanding me? What's possible for me next? So it's such a beautiful life, no matter what's happening in the world. Honestly, I have to tell you, like at this point, I don't even care what's happening in the world. I have created for myself a beautiful, serene, loving, happy, vibrant, successful, abundant, lucrative space for me, environment. My business is thriving. My body's thriving. I'm getting younger every day. My relationships are loving and beautiful and generous. You know, they're just generous of spirit, of joy, of possibilities. And I live in that bubble and people tell me things that are going on. And I'm just like, I didn't know that. I'm sorry. And, and my heart breaks for our veterans that have lost their lives. And I want to tell all the families of those that have served our country and have died as a result of it or have lost limbs or have PTSD or whatever impact it's made on your life financially or in any other realm that I'm, I love you and I appreciate you and I thank you and God bless you and may whatever turmoil and pain and suffering you've been through bring back endless infinite blessings forever. So thank you for being a part of this world and thank you for being you. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for your thoughts and your emotions and your asking, asking God for help, asking the universe to open the door for your life to flourish and your relationships to, to be blessed. And Thank you for the contribution energetically you make to humanity because every thought you think counts, every emotion that you have makes a difference in this world. And every time you ask for more, the universe expands and that benefits us all. And I see that very clearly. And that's what my life is about. Every time I ask my life to be bigger, 
my joy to be bigger, my abundance to be bigger, my health to be more vibrant and homeostasis and my innate divine blueprint for my life to be in charge. It benefits everyone. And so I share these blessings with you as I sit out here on this rock, on this mountaintop, and the breeze blows through the trees, the leaves sing a song, and that song touches my heart and it makes my heart sing. And as my heart sings, I share that song with you and your heart sings. And so I am so grateful that you are taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for being a part of my community and thank you for subscribing to my channel and liking and sharing, inviting your friends. And I want to say thank you to all my clients and to all the people in my life and all the people I haven't met yet and those coming into my life that bring expansion and growth and ideas and blessings. And thank you to all the entities in this in this multiverse that are contributing to my expansion, you know, to God, to the angels, to the archangels, to my ancestors that have passed. I know you're contributing. I feel you. I love you. I thank you. And I'm very happy. And I'm happy for my family. I love my family. They're amazing human beings. And whatever anybody's going through right now, this too shall come to pass and you're going to get on the other side of it and you're going to realize how special you are and how blessed you are and how powerful you are to create a different reality for yourself. And so I'll just give you a little view before I sign off and check. I don't even know how to put this into words. It just goes on forever. The forest is a magical place. I know a lot of people like the ocean and going to beaches. I do too. But I guess if I, um, I guess I spend more time in the forest, crave being in the forest way more than I crave being on a beach for a reason. So that's why I'm here. So there you go. What else can I tell you? You're a powerful being. You can be, do, or have anything. Trust yourself. Take time, no matter how busy you think you are. Take time each day to get into alignment, to get inside, to come inside your heart. All the masters exist in your heart. You can call upon them anytime to help you. Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, they're all available to you. Talk to them. Talk out loud to them. I do. I walk down the street talking to them all the time out loud and then don't even pretend I'm not so that's just me though I'm just a little crazy that way and I love it all right guys I'll talk to you real soon and I love you bye